who should be held responsible for the transactions pertaining to the importation of heifers to the country, which has resulted in the downfall of the livestock industry. Shouldn't steps be taken to prevent this from taking place? It was in 2014 when News First made its first revelation regarding the importation of 20,000 heifers to Sri Lanka under government-backed project aimed to boost the dairy farmers in the country. Confirming such revelations, these issues have now elevated, grabbing the attention of international media. Recent articles published on Australian Broadcasting Corporation and the Australian website Farm Weekly have confirmed all revelations that News First has continuously exposed throughout the years. The Australian media reports hundreds of heifers have died in a federal government-backed export deal with Sri Lanka, which local farmers say has left them bankrupt and in some cases suicidal. The following footage shows the plight of the farmers who are suffering due to the negligence of local officers in charge of this project. We purchased 250 dairy heifers. Initially, we were happy and we fed the heifers well. The government agent said that the heifers will produce more than 20 litres of milk per day. However, we have never obtained more than 4 litres of milk per heifer a day. Some heifers only have two others. On an average basis, we have not obtained more than 13 litres of milk. Heifers are dying continuously. We have to sell our houses now. Heifers and calves are dying continuously. We are finding it hard to meet ends. Many heifers are dying. They said the respective Australian companies supplied the best heifers. But we have not benefited from this project. Under the project, an Australian company named Weller Rural Exports Private Limited was contracted to import 20,000 heifers to Sri Lanka between 2012 and 2019. The respective agreement was initiated in 2014. This project was initiated after obtaining cabinet approval on the 25th of June 2014. The agreement is with an Australian company named Weller Rural Exports. The local agent is Foresight Engineering Private Limited, which is connected to the chairman of the Access Group, Sumal Pereira. Corruption and several irregularities were reported since the inception of the project. The government of good governance came into power after defeat in the previous regime. The Yahapalane government could have rejected and withdrawn from this project. However, they continued with the project as the commissions that could be earned was high. <laughs> This project received cabinet approval from the present government disregarding the recommendations of the Auditor General and the National Planning Department. Accordingly, 5,000 dairy heifers were imported in 2017 and 2018 while a foreign loan valued at 73.9 million US dollars was obtained to finance the respective project. In addition, as per the agreement, an advance payment of rupees 1.32 billion has already been paid for the importation of the remaining dairy heifers. The secretary to the Ministry of Agriculture, Renu Kekanayaka, is the wife of Saman Nekanayaka, the secretary to the Prime Minister. Therefore, the secretary intervened in this project and misused public funds in an illegal and unethical manner in several inappropriate transactions during the past few years, even after having learned of the unfortunate situation of the 5,000 heifers that had already been imported and even when the government had not allocated any funds for the importation of more heifers, the ministry proceeds to pay the Australian company Velard 1.32 billion rupees to import the remaining heifers. These funds were sourced through a bank loan that was obtained from a bank in New Zealand named Rabobank. It's the government of Sri Lanka that must pay this loan. It's been 10 months since this transaction was made, but not a single heifer has been imported to Sri Lanka as yet. On one hand, Wellard Company in Australia has invested these funds and is generating income. And on the other, the government of Sri Lanka continues to pay loan installments and interest. Should we left the corrupt authorities and politicians to import the remaining 15,000 heifers to the country through this program?